because it turns out that um, GM is selling a $5,000 electric car in China. And apparently this thing is selling like hotcakes. It's a runaway hit. Now the, um, the car itself is um, really quite tiny. It actually reminds me of the, um, the Tata Andy. Nano. Yes. If you've ever um, seen that. I mean, it's, it's tiny, it's kind of cute. It seats four, it's got um, four doors. And um, it is are those really... like scooter wheels on it? Yes, yes, they really are. <laughs> um, it is as bare bones as you can pretty much possibly get. There's no indication whether or not the windows roll up and down, but they probably do, and it's a hand crank. And the people people in China really love these because they're bare bones, and they're just looking to get from point A to point B. And you know, you have all these rural areas in China where people just need to drive a few miles and maybe carry some stuff. And um, now for a relatively inexpensive amount, they'll be able to stop using the two-stroke scooters or, um, you know, or other vehicles. There, there is a horse, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you think about it, that is considered a step up, right? You actually right. increase, you know, you kind of improve your place. If you can, um, you know, use your horse for other things, like maybe, you know, dedicated to farming, then you don't have to use your horse to, um, to get from place to place. But there is a category in, um, in China that is the, um, it's the low speed electric vehicles. So, you know, this car is not made to go fast or far but or the safely. problem is um low speed electric vehicles really have no regulation on them which means that anybody any fly by night place can put out um you know any anything with with absolutely no stability strength or or crash test anything um at least this is being made by um, an arm of general motors and um, should have some reliability in it um, so it's, it's kind of a big thing because, you know, we talk about, we want to eliminate, um, internal combustion engines. Well, the bulk of internal combustion engines, um, that are being driven are being driven in places where we know that they're not being regularly maintained. Um, they're not being, you know, not like here in Chicago, you know, the rest of the world does not live in Chicago or major multi metropolitan areas. They live in these rural areas. And if we can swap out some of these, like I said, a two stroke um, scooter that just spews contaminants mm -hmm. and um, get them with a solar panel to charge this thing up and um, they can do their 100, 105 miles approximately on EV, then, um, then that's great. You know, we're reaching more oh, people. And, and, and if, and, all joking aside, if, if it's not compared to the safety of a real car, but it's compared to the safety of the scooter that is displacing, it's probably safer than the scooter for the family mm -hmm. that's in it. So. Yes, yes. The, the story is that when Tata came up with the idea to create the one lakh car, um, he came up with that idea because he saw an Indian family literally all stacked on one scooter in the rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and and he, he, he saw that and said, this is no way to move your family from one place to another. I'm going to build a car they can afford. Um, and this is kind of the same thing, Paul, and you're right. And when you look at China, China has um, what, how many billions of people? You know, I actually did run some numbers. There's 1.4 billion people in China. Um, 106 million of them live in density zones. The top 10 density zones, 106 million people which is only 7.4% of China okay. in the high density zones. So, I mean, that literally leaves 1.3 billion people outside the density zones. And there's 1.1 billion adults in China. Even if only a quarter of those people drive, that's still a shit ton of cars. Is that, is that what came out when you put it in the calculator? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the technical unit shit. <laughs> yeah, I there was there was some scientifically um, accurate some cell formatting involved, but yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, when you run those numbers and you realize not everyone's running out to buy a brand new, you know, Model Three or you know a Model S, a, you know, a Plaid or a Roadster. 
Some people just need four wheels and a roof over their head. This is something that can get the technology to those people. Yeah, for 5,000 bucks, uh, there's certainly a huge market of people that could use this. And uh, that's great. Any electric mile is a good mile. Yeah. And, you know, in China for now, but you look at India, Africa, you know, a lot of places where they can charge them with uh, green tech and totally just leapfrog oil and go oh, straight here. to sustainable. Yeah. Right here, we, you know, if people are commuting, if people don't have to travel super long distances, I like this would be a boon for people who need to travel around, say, Sacramento, and they, they stay basically within that city's, city's areas, and they don't have to go over, you know, maybe 40 miles tops on a regular basis. This would work out perfectly for them. This is the problem with a car like that in America is some joker in an Escalade that's looking at their cell phone is going to plow into you and you're toast. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. My in-laws live in a uh, uh, retirement community and uh, they have a golf cart and that's what they right. use most, most of their time. They still have cars when they can you know, drive around to see us, mm -hmm. but if they're just putzing around their neighborhood, going golfing, going to the local store or whatever, it's all right there on low speed residential streets and uh, they can use their golf cart. So this, uh, yeah. if you, if you want something, there's uh, whole communities in Florida door. like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The neighbor, yeah, the neighborhood. I mean, we know neighborhood electric vehicles and EVs. Um, yeah. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. This fits that category very well. And, and you mentioned it's India. Stylish. Yeah, if yeah, if you want something with doors uh, to uh, well, show yeah, off. Yeah, it's your, got doors. I mean, it's <laughs> got a floating C pillar. I mean, they, they they put a little effort in the styling on this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mentioned India, uh, India, Tony. Um, they just I just saw a headline today that they ha are passing electric vehicle incentives. So uh, that, that's, that could be a, that's a huge market. And with incentives, we know that that could go, uh, they could start going electric very quick. Mm -hmm.